viewers welcome to our channel planning b6 hope you are doing well today i am here with the project of island gas in petrochemical power plant these all projects are similar with each other so on the request of my too many friends to prepare a schedule on petrochemical or oil and gas field so i have found a project of condensate storage facility in oil and gas which we did i think in 2018 and uh, the schedule i just tell you how we will prepare this schedule the sequence and understanding information then you can prepare your project by yourself and i will share this excel file with you and the supporting data which i have i have these all progress reports each and everything about this project if you have any concern you can contact us through our whatsapp email comments instagram same planning p6 linkedin planning p6 on these channels you can contact with us so i have already opened the project here in my promover p6 let's move to the work this is our project now before telling you the how we will prepare this one i will tell you the terms and condition which i have found in the contract the contract i have already open here the contract invitation to bid document mostly clients are sharing this document and they can freeze up to the signing this is complete a contract for some reasons i cannot show you the whole contract because our respectable client and uh, some other issues so in this invitation to bid document this is a epcc project epcc project like a turnkey project ep e engineering p procurement c construction and again c commissioning the entire scope in one company's scope you can see here design procurement construction installation and testing of condensate storage facility which includes storage tanks piping equipments instrumentations all system piping includes fire fighting fuel gas foams sprinkler system and condensate inlets and outlets here is the scope includes crossover structures civil foundations dike wall storage tank foundations this is the entire scope i can show you the scope on the 3d module this is the 3d module of the project this area is our project area and these three tanks we have to build there this is the client requirement they ask for the 3d model before the starting of the business actually the scope was these three tanks one tank has a capacity of 5000 bbl and with this dike walls this dike walls according to the engineering requirements then for the entrance these three crossovers if i zoom out zoom in these three crossovers to enter 
the dike wall then the structure staircase structure inlets foam firefighting this red is firefighting and this yellow is foam this you can see here the red is a particular system of firefighting and this is the foam these are the fuel gas inlet and outlet condensate inlet and outlet here includes this instrumentation lighting and other sensors because the oil and gas this cable tray this pink color is cable tray you can see here the piping passing this one civil structure plus this mechanical structure to support the pipes and this civil foundation for the tank these crossovers to move from one side to other side above the piping this is another crossover our scope here you can see here the red line is our scope and cut out this is tie and joint from the existing you can see here this fire hydrant here you can see the pvsvs and pumps instrument gauges staircase crossovers here this is fire hydrant fire fighting wall fire hydrant this is our tiny joint and these lines are going to this is foam skid foam skid and this line is going to the existing plant for tie-in if I zoom out here is one culvert box culvert and this is if you can see this is firefighting line this is PVSV drain and plus pit hope you can understand the scope if you need drawings then I can share with you individual you can require you can text us I can share without any logos of our client I can share with you for understanding the project For the scope's understanding, I will tell you the total die inches of the piping, total welding in running meter of the tanks and other activities, how we will schedule these activities. So now just move forward to your program of works or schedule. In this type of projects, the clients normally provide us the start date and after that they will give us a deadline to complete the project. Then we have to hire our resources to complete within time limits. Then this type of contracts, there are four major key stages which are engineering, procurement, construction and project completion. So I have divided into the main WBSs, project award, engineering phase, procurement phase, mobilization, construction and project completion phase I have mentioned into the project award award of contract a letter of award this is start milestone then in engineering phase I have mentioned 
those are design processes which are required from the client in the contract document what they required they required in process design fire fighting design report piping instrumentation diagram condensate loading system then fire main ring layout and hydrant monitor placement piping instrumentation diagram for condensate storage tank then data sheets for esvs psvs and psvs then in civil civil design they need submission of drawing for client review and approval then foundation layouts crossover details pipe supports and steel structure detail drawings crossover foundation detail drawings pipe sleeper drawing pipe supports and foundation detail drawing foam skit and foundation detail drawing condensate pump foundation detail drawing general notes for steel structure works general notes for general works condensate storage tank dike wall detail drawing condensate storage tank foundation detail drawings these are the drawings which are we are required for the sewer and then mechanical plot plan key plan piping layouts general arrangement drawings for tanks fire water ring layout and details isometric process piping submission of drawings for client review and approval yes level gauges detail drawing piping stress analysis report isometric fire fighting system 3d model this all they required then we have to write check from our contract if there is not include then we can contact with our design team they will tell us according to the standard which reports are drawing they will submit accordingly we have to mention here to calculate their duration and achieve the milestone then electrical and instrumentation this all drawings detail are also included in the contract instrument boq load list cathodic production drawing and calculation then we move forward to the procurement phase procurement phase procurement of civil bulk material yes this is in bulk not in quantity mechanical procurement piping bulk material including fire water and 3 inch pipeline 3 inch pipeline is this one i just clarify here this one is 3 inch pipeline which is going to for the connection of existing plant you can check this one if i hide this one you can see here the box colored as well if i hide this one you can see here the foundations downside as well which are the steel structure for the piping spokes these are the steel structure h beam c channels which we have to require the procure then we go again to the procurement phase mechanical procurement of tank plates yes we need because this is a major milestone procurement of piping bulk material then electrical and instrumentation procurement of electrical and procurement of instrumentation okay then mobilization mobilization of civil team yes first of all the civil team will mobilize they will prepare the all foundations area and then mobilization of mechanical team after the completion of work from civil to start the mechanical work we will mobilize our mechanical crew then mobilization of crew for cathodic protection system installation this cathodic protection installation system is installed under the tanks to protect the tank bottoms from corrosion then mobilization of instrument electrical and instrumentation team then firefighter line crew then commissioning team these all activities i have 
assign the relationship with the activities when i will share this xer file you can open it and see the details in detail then construction phase one of the major phase of our project so storage tank foundations here in main foundation works this is a standard the activities according to the contract and standard first of all the activity is layout and marking for it or survey then excavation first foundation then structural fill and compaction then clean concrete then rebar cutting fixing and placing for base of brick foundation then form work for base of brick foundation then concrete pouring then rebar placing and binding for ring wall this text is include foundation like a wall then form work for wall then concrete pouring for ring wall bitumen coating back filling and compaction sand filling and layer inside the wall which laying of geo membrane geo membrane is under the cathodic protection then sand filling final layer some pits these some pits are inside the tank foundation layout excavation rebar filling and form work pouring of concrete bitumen coating and back filling dike wall layout excavation compaction lean concrete steel fixing form work of wall pouring concrete and back filling the original duration which i have assigned according to the calculation of our resources you can use the resources calculate your resources according to the productivity and your work situation and your according to your scope of work and you can assign your resources according to the productivity norms of oil and gas system or petrochemical system because here i have if i have assigned some resources or assigned some duration relationship according to my scope and time limits i have calculated that resources according to our client requirement and assigned them if some resources are missing here then there is not requirement of client and may i remove that resources on demand of our client then this is dike wall this is dike wall if you can see here around the tanks foundation this is dike wall the scope of work is includes pcc flooring pcc flooring is this one pcc this all floor is under the pcc flooring and this dike wall is according to the engineering calculation suppose that if your tank is leaked then 5000 bpl must be captured here they cannot go outside that's why this rcc type wall is designed after the pcc flooring leveling dressing compaction and pouring of concrete pcc is a simple no need for the form work because already type wall is constructed then foam skid foundation and one more thing in oil and gas sector you have to keep in mind you have some protocols to follow to carry on your work like permit to work proper health safety and environment protocols and according to the zones you have to make extra safety precautions before starting of work you cannot use petrol equipments in the zone 0 zone 1 only you can use in green zone the diesel equipments and sparking like grinders welding but in the canopy in the fire blanket 
so foam skid this is this was in the area of zone yellow this is foam skid and here is already existing plant but we not shared because that was not our scope so foam skid skids and these all are according to the standard and the same layout and marking excavation structure fill compaction lean concrete river placing for foundation foam work for foundation concrete pouring for foundation bitumen coating and back filling same then condensate pump foundation layout and marking excavation structure fill lean concrete river placing foam work and concrete pouring bitumen and back filling same standard you have to follow which are the condensate pump foundation these are these are the condensate pumps okay then crossover foundation obviously if you are putting a structure you have to prepare and make a foundation under the structure according to standard and according to the design protocols crossover foundation same system the foundation you have to calculate the foundation and procurement and according to resources you have to assign your time duration here pipe sports and sleepers these are two types first of all pipe sports and sleepers one are precasted you can precast and some of them according to the uh, place where you are putting if you don't have any space to lifting and lifting operation is not allowed there then you must prepare cast in situ then these all sleepers and structure are precasted we will precast in our workshop as well in our yard and we can uh, precast in green zone as well same so culvert main entrance this culvert which culvert is that this culvert is in our scope because we have to cross our line and this is not coated pipe and this is main line that's why we prepare here is a road here is a road then we prepare this culvert is in our scope culvert is two or three activities are different like only foam work for roof and concrete pouring for wood roof other all are the similar now we reached at the mechanical work at the same time when you are doing these all jobs the mechanical works prefabrication and shop prefabrication will start in your workshop fabrication of tx fabrication of our welding of annular plates and bottom plates now here i can clear you some facts and figures about the tx this is the main general arrangement drawings of the tx we have three types you can see here the all detail of tank roll mint in detailed drawing or iso drawings you can see each section detailed drawing but here only for general arrangement drawing how you can build and how it looks the references drawing is drawings general notes scales and then these all standards design data weight summary how much is the weight of the uh, your tank operating press pressure and these all thing they mention in the general arrangement drawing then general notes this revision box i have cut off this one or erase this due to the here in the 
contractor, client and design consultant name. This is the detailed general arrangement. Anchor bolt detail you can see here, roof details, staircase details and bottom plate sizes you can clarify from here. So fabrication and rolling of shell plates, yes, sand blasting and coating of annular plates, sand blasting and prime coating of shell plates. Annular plates means bottom and roof and shell plates means which are vertically built the tank. Then radiography is the major head. Then sand blasting, wind girders, these wind girders are curb angle rolling are inside the tank which are sport the plates. Sand blasting, tank structure, fabrication, tank structure, blasting. This work is in the workshop. After that erection of works, erection work tanks, erection of annular bottom plates, erection of shell courses. Erection of tank structure and wind girder, curb angle, erection of nozzles and manholes, erection of roof structure and plates, erection of ladder and platform, final painting, internal and external, VBT of bottom. VBT is the test, uh, test of bottom for the leakage. Then, after VBT, we will perform a hydro test, then, third party calibration of tanks. For the tanks, uh, I have the detail of uh, welding. How much is running welding in running meter for the one tank? 962 running meters are welding for one tank. In the erection, you have do this all welding according to your welders and resources, welding plants, grinders. You can extend your duration or reduce your duration. Most probably, a one welder is doing for the shell is uh, 24 to 30 meter running meter in a day in eight hours. One welder in one shift. You can assign in three shifts also, and total welding is. 2889 running meter you can assign your welders your resources according to your scope of work these all are shell wise vertical horizontal curb angle i have detailed Cut off welding, calculate this R welding from the drawings and then cumulative it here. This all detail is for the one tank welding. If anyone requires this detailed sheet, then I can share with them. This mix welding, I just put it because some if I forget something, then I have to some margin to achieve our targets on time I have this welding detail for all three times I have just calculated for one time and then multiplied to three and then complete welding I was, uh, this I was monitoring that time day by day then remaining then I can sh uh, see here the percentage of remaining welding how much is completed and how much is remaining so that's why here for the erection of the tank structure i have assigned the days according to my resources then here is surface piping condensate three inch pipeline for gpf one tanks which is connecting with the existing facility this pipeline is from our side is up to here is above ground then it's moved to underground with the 
coating and up to the tire up to here here so in the piping fabrication of piping it means the fabrication shaw fabrication then welding of piping then radiography then blasting and initial painting excavation coating of line underground section which i have show you installation and erection lowering and holiday testing and then at the end hydro testing then final painting of above ground piping and back filling this is normally for the 3 inch line a welder piping welder uh, can do round about 40 die inches or 30 to 40 die inches in a day according to this you can plan your welders fabricators fitter according to your resources crane equipments grinders welding plants and these are then surface piping the same surface piping fabrication of piping welding of piping radiography blasting and initial painting installation of and erection piping hydro testing and final painting surface piping this all piping this is specific and additional scope with our scope that's why we assign separately because the client requirement is that in the contract to do this job up to here before completion of this one that's why we plan according according to the client instruction and we separate this surface piping this piping called surface piping according to the our contract this is this all original duration i have assigned according to my resources and manpowers pipe sports fabrication and blasting initial painting installation and filling final painting because these are structure works we have only small sports there is no big structure that's why we fabricate in our workshop after the uh, up to the intermediate painting we shift to the site and then erect after the installation we just did the final painting only crossover these are also uh, not a big structure you can fabricate in your workshop and we also did like that we fabricate in our workshop and mobilize to the site and then erect foam skit foam skit this is we procure and uh, after the procurement we just place level and alignment and after that this is a standard requirement we did grouting condensate pump same fire water and foam system fire water because fire water line is underground that's why it's lowering holiday and back filling of fire water line is include ndt means uh, say rt this rt radiography requirement is according to the standard for the according to the your line pressure then electrical and instrumentation system installation of cp system earthing work earth boring installation of earth rod earth resistant testing excavation you can see in your instrument uh, drawings this all earthing system detail you can found from there if you don't have any idea then you can uh, talk with your instrumentation head or engineer he can explain you the activities what is if you have any confusion then you can contact with us we can with the drawing i can i will share i will tell you 
the activities detailed electrical works cable tray installation excavation for cable laying electrical because uh, lighting and sensors this electrical and instrumentation cable we required instrumentation system instrumentation electrical has a separate standard for the cabling and instrument has a separate standard for the cable laying that's why we separate this one then at the end project completion phase project completion phase punch listing then commissioning and then demobilization this is the detail that how you can prepare your island gas petrochemical power plants project schedule these all are like similar like this i will also put this file excel file attach into my video you can understand this one if you require this uh, 3d model i can give you no issue just contact with us or leave a comment or share your email i can share with you and uh, at the end here i have uh, the resources detail month wise for my project how much resources are required i have i calculated then i will also tie this resource sheet with the excel file you can see here which manpower we have required supervisors surveyors welders fitters fabricators and i will put here these are the direct and then here is the direct manpower histogram then indirect manpower who which engineers who required these are month wise i have i will put it also there then this one histogram equipments which equipments we need for this doing this job how much and for how much duration and then in equipment histogram i have also this one i will put it there then for the welding productivity you can see here the pipe dia 10 inch 8 inch 6 inch 4 inch this is large bore the productivity in the large bore according to the schedule of pipe schedule it means the thickness there is a mechanical there is a schedule of pipe schedule 20 40 60 80 120 160 the thickness of the pipe according to the thickness if you have the schedule 40 10 inch dia inch pipe then the welder will do 10 inch dia welds giant number of giants in a day round about 8 it means he will achieve 80 dia inches a day but these are according to the standard and schedule of pipe and welding which welding you require argon electric which then in small bore like 0.75 he can do only 6 or 7 giants in a day or maximum 10 giants he will achieve 7.5 dia inches in a day a best welder that's why this you have to keep in mind your dia inches detail this i have calculated from isometrics and i have that's why i could calculate the welders and resources so hopefully you understand this preparation method of how you can prepare a schedule for petrochemical island gas and power plant project once again if you have any confusion for the preparation of the schedule you can contact us freely through our whatsapp email instagram 
and LinkedIn, we will support you. Please like and share our videos and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.